27, 2022. Uh, I ran out of memory on my phone the other day. I was watching uh, HBO Real Sports, um, <clears throat> which had the mention of the Russian International Army Games of sorts. Um, I watched that piece. I found it interesting. Um, and then it went into the second piece. Now, context is that my entire life they've been showing on the media the New York State media that people that white people that look like me were really really mean and abusive to dark skinned people um, there was some fight that went on in the 19 something or others uh, they called it the Civil Rights Movement. Then they said that there was some separation, like they weren't allowed in our facilities that we had built here. Um, they used this word negro, which again, in outside language, it just means doesn't grow here naturally. Um... But they were really, really upset about all this separateness, separatist stuff, uh, made big deals about it, made laws inside Mount Rushmore kids' system for themselves to make sure they had access and made, like, big strides for themselves. And, like, now... I'm watching this guy, he's in Detroit, he's something called a, he was a basketball player, his dad wore 42, he wore 24, so his dad would know his name, I don't know, whatever, Jalen's story, I don't know, something like that, and, um, I mean, he avidly is, a, a, like, he only, he donates his time and his resources only to <laughs> African <laughs> In America. I'm a little confused at Mount Rushmore and management. Why it's like not allowed in someone else's viewpoint or mindset if I only wanted Mount Rushmore kids to attend, let's say, a public school. Why is that some disallowable, like, highly offensive, politically incorrect move when I have so much African in American trying to separate themselves now that they're here and they broke all, every law to break into the system? And they have these... People coaching for them, like, Black Lives Matter, whoa! If that means you and your kids and your grandkids disappear, are you sure you want that level of microphone? I'm just curious. I mean, it's like the dumb, deaf, leading the blind. Oh. So here's his volition in what are they up to after they've been lying the entire time about needing to break in and everything be so cohesive and inclusive. Great, so they don't want white people to gather by themselves and have some safety and some family stuff. So they broke our family apart. And then not only do they want to bother us and our shit, but then they want their own shit. How does that work? Who's in charge of that one? That's why, ten years ago, Rose opened the doors to this place, the Jalen Rose Leadership Academy, a tuition-free charter school that gives parents and kids an alternative to Detroit's public schools. Rose is the school's president and chief benefactor and says he's as comfortable here as on any basketball court. When high school... By the way, this population... 
is what a good portion of New York City looks like at the moment, just for keeping it real in realism and off the red cop- carpet of the Oscars, you realize that there are SARS. Speak totally clear. Associated with all of those scars and failed defense strategy at biological terrorism and like some kind of warfare that's going on under some corona pandemic or COVID. And is it a VIG? I'm just, Lou mentioned that word this morning. It's confusing because now I've got a lot of problems on the field and it doesn't seem like, I mean, they're just a problem in, I can't even get my son educated or into anything sports related. I couldn't get myself either. And I don't know how to get out of this because there's a disappear, a, a scary disappearing white population like I don't know where they are I mean it looked like they had some still in Russia but I've got a lot of not Mount Rushmore moving in and breaking all sorts of stuff and I don't know I mean Hollywood seems to know they have an academy and a studio all to themselves Now they're even allowing, like, that's your SARS acquisition and accord. Why would you invite non-family? I mean, you haven't even invited me to the red carpet. Why would you take on onlookers and witnesses to the family crime you're trying to not develop even worse or further? And further harm populations. Like, it just gets confusing how the humans have this set up. I was an honor roll student. I took pride in my academics. I was actually a nerd. You look like a nerd. Yes, look at this. I'm collegiate. Okay? What's the most important part of the robot? Label that for me. Many of Rose's students are the kinds who might slip through the cracks in a large urban school system. Kids living below the poverty line and raised by single mothers. She works every day. For th- you know, I worked every day as well as a single mom of three boys. And what did I get? I got thrown back to my parents' house, the house taken from me, and everything destroyed. And then the rapist, who was also the uh, murderer who got away with murder, is now housing the children in an even more dangerous problem. But yet this is going on. So, like, ah, it's really confusing humans where you're going specially and spatially. For 30 days. Like, I think she has to work this weekend. She has two jobs. Long hours. Long hours. Yeah. So she needs Nobody to cares. At least she has a job and she's in a place where, I mean, this is just like you're asking all the wrong questions, airing all the wrong laundry. Like... You just, where's the fix for Mount Rushmore? Just curious. Okay. The strain affected him emotionally. I had a lot of anger issues, and I used to get into a lot of physical alter. Oh, nobody cares about the personal story. Did you need to be better than your father? I need it. Oh, who cares? And so... Strong, powerful, so that bitter. I mean, like, that's what they're teaching their kids. Bitterness, drive, I mean, but in the same subset, we're just being, like, railroaded right over. Feel safe in their own. Another sad story. Nobody cares. Nobody wants to hear my sad story. Nobody wants to hear that. Here's where it's really key. It went from two generations before with no Negroes, totally separate. It was built one way for a family that was Mount Rushmore and running things for the family here. And now look at it. They comprise of nearly 100% African Americans. The school feed... 100% Africans in America. Oh. 
book features a curriculum designed to... And look, it says it right here, young, black, and gifted. Wow. <laughs> Where's my white version of this? Just curious. It says black is more than a color. Uh-huh. Yes, I am mixed with unapologetically black proud again. Black proud. Uh -huh. I mean, these are microaggressions that are going on. I'm just curious at what time, at what point this flipped into being all about people from Africa taking over North America is what this feels like and looks like. Who introduced that? Because that wasn't my motif. I'm like, no, we have Mount Rushmore and we're European, Northern, whatever. Iber to Siberia and then we've got some responsibility in North America. Where did this foot traffic from South America and Central America and then the boatloads of Africans in America. Where did all that come from? Because they lie through their teeth and say that we dragged them here in chains and boats. No, no, we didn't. So I'm um, just, where is the fault in that mental torture and, like, confusing and all-inclusive for what reason? Because I'm seeing when they get all-inclusive, they then go separatist and all-inclusive, almost like double-dipping, and I really don't see a benefit for me and my children, nor for Linda and Lou. They haven't lived well either. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Ketteros. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.